So, we've done avian, so feather falling, sleeping at a certain height, and faster, and eating meat. Now we've got arachnid for climbing, webbing, and carnivore, as well as fragile. So we've got a bar here, I assume for webbing, maybe, or climbing? Uh, nope, so we can climb easily up blocks, so that's fine. We can climb like so easily without the need for a ladder or something. We'll still need blocks that are accessible to get onto, of course. Uh, actually, no, not really. Doesn't matter that much because we can just climb up them. We don't even have to worry. So that's good. So no need for ladders or blocks or anything else. We can just climb up them immediately. Uh, let's see. Uh, a cobweb attack. Do we need string for that? Or do we need actual cobwebs or something? Because I don't know how you activate that. Or is it just the GT or something? Uh, we do also have less health, so more equal to a spider. And we'll check, and we've got G and O. So, O to view origins, so I assume you can just see which one you selected. You can't change your origin. You have to create a new world to do that. And we press the G key, nothing is really happening. Okay, do we need an actual mob to interact with for that to be the case? Like a pig, for example. Put a pig up here. We don't use that, no. Maybe it's just when initially attacking or something. Ah, okay, when initially attacking, you're giving them a uh, spider web when you hit them with your fist. So we'll do that again. Uh, let's see, what's something else I can do? I don't know, what else is something that I can do? Um, I mean, normal, so that's fine actually. So I might actually as well just do like something like a witch, for example. So the first hit, or every hit I assume you have, is... Uh, no, I don't want to do that on you. Um, so you're always giving a um, web attack, I assume, to mobs, um, typically. Just as like the first hit or so. So if we push you out of here, so we get rid of that. Okay, so it's the first one, and that's it. My guess is that bar, yep, yeah, so that bar's for webbing. Yeah. So that'll automatically go up and down, depending. So that's fine. We'll get rid of these, and we don't need to worry about the witch, so we'll just get rid of them. Uh, and we view our origin again, we've climbed, we've webbed, now carnivore. We are restricted to meat, we can't eat vegetables, which would pretty much be the exact opposite of what we did before. Of course, so if I get something like a golden carrot, I can't use that. Um, but if I use something like a... Uh, actually, I haven't even tried chorus fruit either, technically, which I could do, but that's just a fruit, so that probably doesn't matter too much. So can't eat golden carrot or any of these vegetables, but I can mutton and rabbit, I assume. But I need actual hunger for it. Alright, so effects give us us hunger, and we'll move on to that. So, there we go. So we can try eating these all we want, but nothing's happening. Now we can eat mutton and raw rabbits and everything else. So we get a stew as well, which we couldn't eat before. Didn't do that. Now suspicious stew, technically. Yes, yeah, so that's a vegetable. So yeah, we can't eat that. Alrighty, and finally we had the what was the last one? Fragile. We have less hearts, so that's fine. So that's that. And we'll just delete that because I don't need that anymore. So we'll go origin three real quick. And yeah, we'll see what next. So, hmm. I guess we're going to be doing a lot of world generation waiting for each one, so I can't change it. Alrighty, so next we have Elytrian, which is. Okay, so we've got wind, and otherwise. Okay, so I might. Okay, so wind, there we go. So we get a lot of wings, I assume, immediately. No, I can't do 
see that at all. Oh, and you want to limit it as well. Interesting. Okay. So let's see. We'll go here. Oops. Sorry. Maybe I'm just using the wrong parts because I don't actually have the bar filled yet. That's why. But I guess. Okay, so we have elytra rings without the need to equip any. Every 30 seconds you are able to launch about 20 blocks. You deal substantially more damage while in elytra flight. You cannot wear any heavy armor. Armor with protection value is higher than chainmail. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Somewhere with a low ceiling for too long will weaken you and make you slower. And you take more damage from falling and flying into blocks. Okay. So a lot of flight focus here. So we can do that like so. And because I just moved it, that's fine. I'm probably assuming I need to fall a bit for this to actually be easier for me to transition to it and also take damage into blocks. Or maybe not. Okay, it's not too bad. That's the thing, so you've got elytra wings, which we know. Every 30 seconds you are able to launch about 20 blocks in the air. How do you do that? How are you, how are you able to do that every 20 seconds? Is that while I'm in flight? That I'm not sure of. Can launch themselves up into the air. How do I, do I have to press the G key? Ah, oh, okay, so that's how you do that. And you take full damage. And the bar doesn't set and reset immediately, so that's fine. So that's what you need. So you need the G key for that one. Um, so you need that one there, the power activate one, which I assume is probably the same as the spider one as well. But you can activate that, or maybe turn it on or off, whether or not you web mobs or not. I assume. Uh, let's see. You deal double damage, which again, not exactly the most easiest thing to demonstrate, unless I'm probably firing with a bow, but I'm not really going to hit much, so it's kind of self-explanatory, I'm not going to be able to show that off because I'm not going to be able to do it proper. Um, you can, we can show the armor one, of course. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll actually go to that section. Uh, yes, yes, here we go. So, chainmail. I assume iron will be restricted in this case. So chainmail is fine. So chainmail works, iron works, because it's kind of about the same. No? Not on the chest plate then? No? The helmet works. Oh! Maybe based on armor points? Interesting. Gold we can still, so you can still do that for the nether trips if you want, but we can't do much else other than iron helmet. Interesting. And chainmail, obviously, you'd want to mark it as a recipe for it, it makes it easier to trade for it, maybe. Um, but yeah, so that's interesting. Uh, otherwise, you take more damage when flying into blocks, which I didn't that much notice. But then again, I wasn't in the air for that long. Uh, otherwise, receive a stacking debuff. Slowness and weakness when in places with a low ceiling. Uh, hmm. How can I demo that? Uh, let's see. Is it low ceiling? Or is that just like the smaller places in here, I guess? Oh, great. Um, that's one of those things where I can't usually make it happen that easily. Um, yeah, trying to get into like a one block space sort of thing. Yeah, that's. That's uh, usually awkward. Um, would I be able to just use a trapdoor to sort of skip it into crawling? I think. And that would just give me the effect? No? That's not gonna happen? Okay, so it is just when we're flying in and then you're in there, I assume. That's my guess. Um, let's place it into like a slab or something. So I'm also mimic it. I have absolutely no idea. But yeah, no effects here, it seems. And you do still get effects when you're in creative, so I don't know what's the case with this. I have no idea. My guess is it's only when it's with flight or something. Um, or maybe in certain caves, I'm not sure. Uh, otherwise though, I'll do the others in other parts, but uh, for now, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.